I'm Jared Haynes, and this is Rogue Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you about the NL series of binoculars from Swarovski. So here I've got the 10 by 42 NLs, and here are the 12 by 42 NLs. So I want you to take a look at these through the glass with me. I'm going to hook them up to a tripod, and just over my shoulder out here at 100 yards, I have a Reinhardt Corsican Ram target. So we're gonna take a look at that and see what the field of view is, the clarity, and get an overall feel for these binoculars. The first binocular that we're gonna test is gonna be the NL 10 by 42s. So we've got the Corsican Ram out there at 100 yards, and I've got my phone hooked up to the binocular so that we can see what the image is looking like. Now, one of the hardest things to show to you, the viewer, in a review of optics is really what you're seeing with the naked eye because I'm only able to look through one of the binocular tubes at a time. So what I'm gonna do to make this as fair as possible is I'm gonna keep the eye relief the exact same from the 10 by 42s to the 12 by 42s. I'm also not gonna digitally zoom the image um, on the phone itself. Now there's two main reasons that people spend the money for Swarovski optics. One is gonna be the color and light transmission that you get because of the coatings that they use. And then the other thing is going to be the edge to edge clarity. So first let's start off with the edge to edge clarity. Um, I've been running the Swarovski ELs for quite a while and these are now the NLs. The NLs have a much larger field of view than the NLs or than the ELs, excuse me. And that is their big claim to fame basically is that you get a huge field of view that the ELs didn't get because um, they had 100% edge to edge clarity. Now on these, it's gonna be kind of hard to show how clear this image is all the way out because I'm only filming through the one tube. So you'll kind of have to take my word on it, but these, in my opinion, you're getting about 90, probably 7% edge to edge clarity, uh, which is still extremely phenomenal. And in that 97%, you're still getting more clear field of view than with the ELs, but it isn't 100% edge to edge. Now, the other thing that you've got here is the color transmission. So I really want you to look at this image with me. And I want you to notice the blades of grass as you're going up to the ram, the difference between the closer blades, which are a darker green, out to where the sun is hitting it, that lighter green. How you're able to get each individual um, blade of grass shown because of the clarity of the coating on the binoculars. And then where it gets really interesting is when you go actually behind the ram and you have all those tones of brown. Um, that is one thing that if you look at, you know, Vortex, quite a few of the Leupold, Optics, um, really most other brands, Zeiss, not so much. Um, and Leica, not so much. Um, but the browns are hard to get because usually the coatings that they put on the front of the um, glass really distorts that and puts a green undertone in there. The way that these are, you get that true color, which is really important when you're looking at brown animals, not wanting them to blend in um, and be able to pick out those precise color differences. Now, I want you to look at the clarity on the curl of the ram. You can actually see some of those ridge lines in there. Now, this image is going to be slightly downgraded from what your eyes can see because I am filming through the phone, but I do think it does a very good representation of what this looks like. So now we're going to throw up the 12 by 42s, and I want you to take a look at what those look like. All right, we got the 12 by 42s hooked up now, and what I really want you to look at on this is just how much of the simulated hair you can see on this target, as well as each individual ridge line in the horns on this Corsican Ram 3D target. So the colors are the exact same. Now we are missing that little bit of the darker green that was in the 10 by 42 image because we're up to those 12 by 42s. And we are seeing a little bit more of the brush behind the Ram. Um, you know, we're definitely closer to that where we can see individual pieces and blades of the far back grass. And then you can see good definition of the nose, mouth, 
um, eyeballs on the target as where you were a tiny bit back. Now again, I'm not using any digital zoom on this uh, binocular comparison, and I set the eye relief to the exact same distance. This is only one tube, so this is not really indicative of how big of a field of view you get um, you know, using both eyes, because there is a little bit more shown than what you're seeing here since you have that second tube. But this does show you eye to eye, essentially, what the you know, field of view difference is. It is cutting you down a little bit going up to the 12 by 42s. So the question that I think you would have to answer is, which one, you know, what is your average distance that you're looking at? Now, I am going to do a review on the ELs versus the NL here soon, and that will really show between the two what you're looking at. I hope this video, though, does a good job of showing between the 12 by 42 and the 10 by 42 which one you best feel works for you. Well, I hope this video helped answer any questions if you're looking between the 10 by 42 and 12 by 42 NL binoculars. I think that both of these are tremendous picks if you're, you know, stuck between or have the privilege of getting to pick between these two binoculars. Either one is going to do a great job. I would personally say if you're hunting, you know, 300 yards and in primarily, that I would go with the 10 by 42s. But if you're going to be over that 300 yard range, I would probably consider going up to the 12 by 42s. Now, I do have here in my bino harness a pair of EL 10 by 42s. And I am going to be doing a comparison between the EL 10 by 42 and the NL 12 by 42, because I think that's a very interesting uh, comparison to have there, getting to add that extra little bit of power. So I'll have that coming out soon, but I hope this helped answer that. Uh, if it did, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more content coming out soon. Thank you for watching.